Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell. A lot of people have asked me, how do you remove the text from a Gerber file or from a PCB? So today I thought I'd show you how to do that. Now I am using a program called ViewMate Deluxe. It's a program you got to pay for. It's about $100, but it's a very nice program. And I highly recommend that if you work on PCB boards all the time, you design your own or whatever, this program is, is a nice program. Anyway, I'm using ViewMate Deluxe. And um, you go up here to File. And you click on Open. Okay. And what you want to do is click on All Files and then select the zip file that has your Gerber, your Gerber files in it, and then Open. Okay, make sure there's no red. Okay, everything looks good. Then click on OK. All right. This right here is a very nice, high-quality, through-hole board um, designed for the Amiga 2000 computer's video slot. It is an RGB to HDMI board that uses the higher-quality through-hole technology. It does not use the surface mount crap. So this is a very nice board. But I don't like the text that's on this board. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't look good. Okay, so this is how you remove that text. The first thing you want to do is you want to find out which layer is your silk screen. Because the text is usually on your silk screen layer. It's one of your silk screen layers. So, in this Gerber file, the silk screen is the gray, or number 7. So you select that, and you go over here, and you select uh, the selection tool. The keyboard equivalent is the S key, but I'll just click on it. And make sure that your cursor looks like that, with a little square that's right next to that arrow. Make sure it looks like that. And then you can just go like that it turns it white and you can delete it's just that easy boys and girls just that easy okay it's just that easy boys and girls now this is stupid don't bring me down bruce what the hell does that mean it's, it's some stupid crap that doesn't need to be on this board so you know delete it only the Amiga makes it possible. Yeah, we know that. Um, I'll delete that. And that's all there is to it. I've just deleted the text from this PCB. And now what you want to do is you want to go up here to your file. And um, I'm thinking it's expert. Okay. Export to Gerber. You can do it that way. Okay. But you can also do... I'm trying to think. Um, can I do it this way? Save. No, that's a bin. No, that's not the way you want to do it. Okay. Uh, go up here to file. I want to teach it the right way. So, yeah. Export um, to Gerber. And then... Okay. I'm going to name it, um, well, RGB um, to HDMI. Um, no T, which stands for no text, but I can just put no text like that okay and then export it doesn't take long 
we'll exit out. Okay. And you go here. And these are, are your new exported Gerber files. So you want to select all of those. Okay. And you want to add those to a zip. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't. Okay. Um, okay. Add to an archive. It's going to be. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. Amiga. RGB to HDMI. Well, I'll just do like that, no text. And it's going to be, um, wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> just select zip. Zip file. Okay, Amiga RGB to HDMI, no text, zip. And that's all you have to do, boys and girls. Now I can go ahead and delete these. I don't need these anymore. So this is the original version right here. And this one is the new version with no text. So we're going to test that. Okay, when we come back, we'll load that new Gerber file uh, in a PCB way. All right, here we are on PCB way. <laughs> so first thing you want to do is you want to go to PCB instant quote. Okay. Then you want to click on quick order PCB. Okay. Add the new Gerber file. The, no, the one with no text, right? Open that up. Okay. We'll go. We'll also click on um, online Gerber viewer. Now I already loaded this up before, but okay. Let me see something. Um, okay. Delete all save boards. Yeah. Delete. Okay. Let me load up the one that we just created. Okay. So it's going to be this one here with no text. And as you can see, the board no longer has that stupid text. It just has the important text, you know, that, that tells you what chips you need to use, what parts you need to use. Um, the hole, I think the, the inside diameter of this hole right here, the mounting hole for your bracket. And, of course, the fact that you need a Raspberry Pi plugged in here. And that's all the text that you really need. I don't know why they put all of those stupid text. Let's look at the bottom. There's no text there. Top. And now I can put a label here. I can print out a nice label and stick it on there. It'll say, um, like, Amiga RGB to HDMI board for Commodore Amiga 2000 computer. And I'll put my name in smaller print, Hans George Campbell. And then peel and stick the label there before I sell these boards. Or you can also have that printed directly on the board. You can do that too. And if you guys want me to, I'll do a separate tutorial showing you how to actually do that. Because for some reason, um, there are no tutorials or nobody talks about editing the text uh, in a Gerber file. It's like it's real hush-hush. Nobody wants to show people how to edit the text or delete the text from the boards. Like they don't want you messing with the text. They show you everything else. They show you how to create the boards and everything except the text. I have not been able to find any tutorials showing you how to delete this text and how to 
add your own text to the board. Well, anyway, I've showed you, uh, I've shown you in this tutorial at least how to delete the text. And yeah, but another thing, while I'm here, I want to show you something. If you're going to make PCBs like like this, okay, this is what you want to do, especially on a board that plugs into the Amiga 2000's video slot. Okay, it's going to cost a little bit more, but the first thing you want to do is you want to change the default quantity to 10. It doesn't cost that much more and you get twice as many boards. Okay, select your color. I'm going to select red because red is my favorite color. Okay, um, edge connector, you want to click on yes and you want to have it set for 30 degrees. And the edge of the connector will look like that. Well, the edge of the, the board will look like that. That plugs into the card edge connector on the MiG-2000 motherboard. If you don't do this, then it'll basically be square. And that's how you damage the pins that are inside the slots. You want to have that 30 degree angle and so many of you that create your boards, you know, you forget to do this important part. I don't know why the default is no. The default should be yes on a board that's like this. Of course, they don't know what kind of boards you're loading, so that's probably why the default's no. Okay, also any kind of a board that's being used for video, you want gold plated. You definitely want gold plated. So you want to click on Immersion Gold right there. It's going to cost a little bit more, but it's worth it. Any kind of a board that plugs into the Amiga 2000's video slot or any kind of like a graphics card, okay, you want the card, at least a card edge connector part of the board uh, to be gold plated, just like I did here. And for some reason, it automatically selects the rest of the traces on the board. So I guess that's good. And this is not bad. $121.43 for 10 of these boards. And these are very high quality boards. This is going to be a very high quality board that I'm going to be building for you guys that own an Amiga 2000 or an Amiga 3000 now. Uh, this is a very nice board. It's using high quality through hole technology. Now that surface mount garbage. You know. And I'll be using nothing but the best quality parts. So, yeah, and I plan on selling these on eBay. The bare boards as well as the boards fully assembled. I may even sell kits. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. You know, would you want this in kit form? You know, and you're getting gold-plated contacts here. Gold-plated right all through here, you know. Well, let me load up the online Gerber file. Gerber viewer. So yeah, the card edge fingers right here, these are called the fingers. These would all be gold plated, as they should be. And then it, all of these, like, where you solder on the parts, that'll all be gold plated. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be a very high quality board. And I, I think you people are really going to like it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time.